In South Africa, more than a thousand rhino are being poached every year. And it's causing wildlife rangers to take drastic action. What's driving this modern-day extinction, is the demand from East Asian countries, which are convinced that ground-up rhino horn, can cure cancer and hangovers. Yet rhino horn, is made from keratin. The very same material as human fingernails and human hair, and offers no medicinal value. Today, we are embarking on a mission to remove two horns from one of these at-risk rhinos, reducing the likelihood of its becoming a poaching target. Removing such an important piece of anatomy may sound controversial, but the team and reserve managers hope it will ensure the animal's survival. These vets are experts in their field, and can perform a dehorning in as little as one hour. That's all of them. Okay. Done? Yeah. Fine. Blood cut. I'm just about to give Dr. Orphan. She's not had any yet. After the tranquilizer has kicked in, the rhino becomes heavily sedated. To ensure the rhino's safety, the vets first take blood samples to monitor oxygen levels. Rhino horn will regrow in as little as two years. This rhino has already undergone a similar procedure, as evidenced by the flat top on its current horn. Before the horn can be safely removed, the vets first mark where to make the cuts. By cutting along the marks, they avoid injuring the rhino. Wow. Have we got a recent heart rate? Right. Today's procedure is also a special one, because this rhino is a mother, accompanied by her young calf. This young rhino will be keeping its horn, but the team sedates it as well, to keep it calm and safe. The vets periodically reposition its small legs to maintain proper blood flow. Now, it's time to remove the mother's horn. To ensure healthy growth, the vets must make additional guiding marks. Although sedated rhinos do not actually feel their horns being removed, they are still very much aware of their surroundings. She had five, when you fell followed by five of us now.
This mother remains standing for a duration of the dehorning process. Finally down again. It's time to finish off with some grinding, to further ensure healthy growth. Let's bring a little bit of the chuck here, and then just go around this. Okay, maybe that side. Alright. And then maybe some more for front here, of course. Oh, Once the team finishes the procedure, they administer the sedation antidote to awaken the rhinos, starting with the mother. While dehorning remains a controversial procedure, the devastation caused by rhino poaching has reserves fighting back 